in proud protest to fame and recognition, I, I'm trying to say, spread art without fame. Like, you know, why, why do you want to be famous? So you get given free things. So you sell a few more books. So you get like brand deals. It's like, you know, you can have a lot of um, happiness and fulfillment without mm -hmm. being recognized. And, and um, you know, those, those like little bits of uh, dopamine you get when somebody's like, oh, hey, you know, like you're, you're this person, distant from my friends who are famous. I think it's kind of like a drug and it's, it's a little bit dangerous. And so for me, it's, it's just, it's a big experiment and, you know, maybe it'll, it won't work. But um, I'm very proud to be anonymous and I, and I mean, for, for the foreseeable future, we'll always stay anonymous. Yeah, no, I think it's great. Even in my experience, I'm not that people recognize me on the street. I'm actually ha like, although it might happen once in a while, but I'm actually happy that I can live my life like a normal person. Even if I am yeah. known online, I like still having that ability because if you were like an a-list celebrity like you there's so much that you can't do in public yeah right so yeah i think fame is not it's, it's really not that great <laughs> it's not what people make it out to be yeah and i'm like by the way it works really really well for some people they can control it and mm -hmm. and you know they're very um social people and so they kind of they like live on that energy I think it gets dangerous for when people are more creative and insular and they're, you know, less yeah. social and they get this huge amount of fame and suddenly like people are always kind of vying for their attention and coming up. And I think that's where it gets really dangerous. People like Heath Ledger, who, who's like such an incredible, wonderful actor, but he's like an insular, he was like a very insular person. And, and I think fame was, it was tricky, you know, it was, it was really hard on him and yeah. Yeah. Um, are there ever times that you regret wearing the mask and being anonymous or is it, are you completely like, it's been great? <laughs> yeah. I, you know, it's like, sometimes I'm like, am I being like truly authentic? Am I saying like, be vulnerable? And then I wear a mask mm -hmm. and is like, is that a kind of contradiction? And, you know, and my God, it would just make my life so much more, e so much easier. You know, it'd be nice to just be on video with you here. It's just like, you know, I, I find that that's how I kind of relate to people is just meeting them one-on-one -on -one and kind of like laughing and smiling and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people like my publisher, like, Hey, you'd sell way more books. You'd be way more famous. We could get you on the Today Show and yada, yada. <laughs> so, you know, there are times when I'm like, Oh God, it'd just be so much easier to not be. But, um, right. you know, it's, it's like, I just got to remind myself it's like, well, for, to what ends, you know, it's like, Am I doing it for the right reasons? And, you know, mm -hmm. there's a, an actor and he, he had a, has a famous quote that says, if, if you want to become rich and famous, become rich first and see if you still want to be famous. And I think there's some, something to that. Not that money has the answers to anything, but I think it's just kind of like mm -hmm. a warning of like, what are you looking for? Are you looking for success? Or are you looking for people to recognize you on a on a street. So. Right. When people think, I think people think they want to be famous, but what they want is just the success that, that fame brings. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can have money without fame. Yeah. You can, I mean, you know, so I, I would wager that, that some people, that many people that don't have fame or money are living for much higher quality of qualities of life than, right. than very, very wealthy, famous people. I, you know, yeah. And like definitely. I said, there's tons of exceptions. I know, I know a lot of very, very famous people who live, who live wonderful and fulfilled and balanced lives. They're able to kind of manage it really, really well. But yeah, I mean, I think it would be, it would be tricky for me, you know, who just like loves to, you know, walk in the grocery store and mm -hmm. be kind of a goof and, or like walk down a little street in Paris and take pictures of weird things, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I think if I was getting recognized all the time, it'd be, it would be for the wrong reasons. Right, right. And even if you think of writers traditionally, it's like they're famous for their work, not for like, who, who, you know, they're not people you recognize on the street anyway. And it's like, you want to focus people towards your art. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I think this helps keep it about the words and less about who I am. And one thing I've always right, loved, so right. I, I, on one of these signings that I, that I did where I showed up in a mask, I had kind of like a, a reflective mask going on. And mm -hmm. this woman stood up at the end and she goes, 
I don't know why you chose to wear a mask, but I love that it's reflective. So because I think people can see themselves in you. That's so metaphorical for your work because your work is a mirror for people. (laughs) Wow, I see it. Yeah, it's like so beautiful. I was like, oh God, can I have that? Can I use it as a poem or like you? You (laughs) use that somewhere. It's like Atticus is not a person. Atticus is the mirror for you to see yourself. Yeah, Uh, you know, I think it's beautiful. And it's like what I was talking about with with the tattoos. It's like Atticus can be whoever Mm -hmm. you want him or her to be. And it's, uh, I love it when people kind of, you know, take the poetry, change the pronouns, mix up words, like, you know, make it theirs. And it's like, they're making it a mirror. And that's, that's what's important. But it's not like, it doesn't matter who I am. You know, it really doesn't. It's about the words. You either like them or you don't. And if you don't, that's all good. (laughs) And if you do, then make them your own. 